All right, what is going on, everybody? <clears throat> and welcome back to Amori. Um, I'm just so eager to play this game right now. I don't know what it is. So I've literally just been doing back-to-back -back recordings. So we're just going to keep going. So I remember things uh, pretty clearly, too. So that's the best part. Um, oh, shit. We got to fight this guy. Oh, we're still... We're still fucking hurting. Oh, shit. We gotta go heal up. Um, yeah, today's just a really good day to do some recordings. I feel like it's just, just nice. I've been doing, I've been doing like a couple. This is like my fourth one or something. This is good. I'm having fun. This is perfect. <laughs> I'm not even tired. I can do this all day. That's not true. But hey. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna keep going. Uh, so I guess we're gonna commission. We're gonna do a commission. That's gonna be sick. Uh, let's see if we can do it. Hello. For my first ever masterpiece, it will only charge you a thousand clams. Have you decided to assist me on my journey of self discovery? I have. Le Magnifique. Or uh, Magnificent. I don't know what, what he said. Please return after some more adventuring. After all, greatness takes time. All right, well, that that's it. I won't disappoint you. Is that it? That was not it. I will not disappoint you, Rococo. I guess we have to come back. Well, shit. That's okay. Um. Hey, Basil. It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? No? Okay. Sure. Well, I think we're going to enter Foxville again. You know in school when you do something and then the teacher's like, If your friend told you to jump off a bridge, would you do it? Apparently, <laughs> apparently yes. Yep, we're back in fucking purgatory. Are we okay? Where are we? White elegant or egret orchid. In the language of flowers that symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Okay. Thousands of books forgotten through time, the keepers of this library have long since passed. Oh, this is the library. It's the li Fuck you. It's the library. Yes. Fucking. I'm just going to walk past you. I can't. White orchid, yes. Okay. Moving on. There's a book up there. This is what Mari was talking about. That's a fucking demon in the books. Uh, find a book of interest. Read an excerpt. One by one, they fell asleep on the car ride home. It was a long day on the beach, or at the beach after all, and everyone was exhausted. I keep getting these messages. What's going on? Uh, okay, that's a lame message. <laughs> was the first to nod off than the rest. As the sun set over the freeway, <gasps> head accidentally drops onto <laughs> shoulder. The sudden jolt wakes him, but he doesn't dare open his eyes. He pretends to be asleep and steadies his breathing. He listens to the sound of the road. He feels the soft sun resting on his skin and the slight tinge of pain on his nose from tomorrow's sunburn. He's happy. Very, very happy. And he makes a vow to himself that no matter what, he will remember this moment forever. Aw, is this the fucking... Yeah, yeah, is this the fucking, like, library of Amori? Yeah, let's see the demon book. Mountains of book through gotten, forgotten through time. The keepers of this library have long since passed. Well, apparently not. There's a demon right there. <laughs> Find a book of interest. Read an excerpt. A puddle of juice sinks under the carpet. Hovering above it is none other than... <gasps> Holding an open juice box. 
He looks around at his friends who are all wearing the same face of disappointment. He lets out a guilty chuckle. In what seems like less than a second, <gasps> disappears out the front door. A tiny black kitten makes her way through the stain, uh, leaving sloppy wet tracks all across the carpet. Blue's <laughs> face turns red and yells for blue, but blue is already long gone. Blue hands blue some wet paper towels. Looks like they're the only adults here. And if they don't clean this up soon, the carpet is going to stain. They'll have to deal with blue later. What's going on? Another book, another book. Oh, goody. You find a book of interest. Read an excerpt? Yes. It was a hot summer day. <laughs> and all Blit could think about was why they couldn't do this tomorrow. The backyard was a mess. Planks of wood were strewn about the area. Paint stains blotched the grass thanks to Blit and Blit's work. All day Blit watched Blit's lug planks of wood back and forth from his dad's pickup truck. He watched Blit hammer his fingers over and over and made note that over an hour has passed since Blit has climbed down the her ladder. I'll just be their moral support, Blit thought as he sat sleepily in the shade of his favorite tree. Of course he knew this wouldn't be the case. Soon his friends will be asking for his help and he won't be able to refuse. The tree house is for everyone, so it's only fair that everyone puts some work into it. Blit knows this and agrees, but reluctantly he slides up and wobbles his way to the mess. He knows he should put in his fair share. It just had to be on the hottest day of summer. Treehouse, man, I always wanted a treehouse. Is that Mari? Hi, Mari. Hi, Mari. Mari, you're a crazy fucking bitch. I know what you are. I know what you are. Oh my God, this library is fucking all over the place. You find a book of interest. This year, Blet was lucky enough to get assigned to a desk next to a small window. That's the, that's the protagonist fucking protagonist seat. Every day during class, Blit would gaze listlessly through the opening at the shadows of the trees and clouds creeping overhead. His mind drifted elsewhere, into his own worlds, his own stories, his own adventures. He had a habit of doing this. It was easy for him to get lost. Today was the same as any other. Blit stared vacantly out the small window as the clouds passed one by one. Suddenly a hand playfully slaps his back, snapping him out of his revier. Blit looks away from the opening. Blit smiles. He motions that class is over and that it's finally time for lunch. It's pizza day today and they need to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. Blair's stomach growls. He looks at the small window one last time. He would have to continue his adventure another day. What is going on? One of these is going to be fucked up. At sunset, a strange statue watches over the hidden lake. It might have meant something significant in the past, but time has made its engravings illegible. By the way, it doesn't matter to the company visiting it today. They're only here to use it as, as a diving board. <laughs> the brothers take turns jumping off the statue. Uh, Hero jumps first, then Cal. Then Hero again, then Cal. The brothers gleefully urge... Uh, I guess that's us? Uh, Amori to join them, and after some careful thought, Amori warily agrees. He shuffles up the statue and looks down at the moving water. He can hear his heartbeat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel as if they would give out at any time. He tries to focus on his breathing. He feels something crawling on his shoulder and his eyes fly open to meet with those of a black spider. He just, <laughs> he just got hit with all of his fears instantly. In an instant, Amori loses all sense and hurls himself into the lake. Water fills his nose. He exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak to help us or that it's what he believes. Mori shuts his eyes and waits for the brothers to save him. Oh. Poor guy. Not the smartest move if you're drowning, though. Uh, <laughs> then again, what do I know? I've never, never drowned before. What is that? Why does that look like a fucking like demon clawing at something? L. Big L notation. Yeah, these trees are like demon trees. Okay, so the way out is over there. L. Do we think we need an L? Let's take a look. Um. I really don't know. I'm bad with these games. 
I don't know, sure. Let's grab it. Let's just grab it. That's a demon L. Do we need that? Seven keys left. We did need that. Okay. Part of the shelf has been cleared out. There's a hole here. Look into the hole. No, not yet. I want to go see what this excerpt says. Find a book of interest. Everyone is over again today. The special occasion is Saturday morning. From 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., a group of six friends eat a delicious homemade breakfast and watch TV together. It's the most enjoyable part of every week. Maury looks at the clock. 8 a.m. Two hours left. He would be able to watch with everyone until 10 a.m. when his tutor arrives. He grimaces. What he thought would be a rewarding hobby has been nothing more than a nuisance. Instead of watching the shows with the rest of his friends, he'll be the only one to miss out. If only he could watch the last hour with everyone else. If only he didn't have to play the violin. Something opened. So we have... No, I don't want to go that way just yet. I was going to say, we have two ways. One looks like fucking hell, and one looks like heaven. Here, I'm going to look through the hole. Oh, maybe this was a bad idea. No. Wait, was this a good idea? <laughs> Is it gonna be Satan that turns around or? Yes. <laughs> you can't fool me. I am too smart. Don't forget it's in the toy box. I got it. I got the screenshot. Get wrecked. No, wait, I wanted to see. <laughs> I wanted to fucking see. Do I restart? Do I restart? Do I restart? Do I restart? Why is my heart beating? Is this thing? Oh, maybe I should restart. It's pitch black inside. You can't see a thing. I feel like I missed something. You booted up your laptop. Oh, bollocks. This is always the weirdest shit. Where's Satan? Tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Oh man. I guess so. That's so annoying. Oh God, my job is to stab myself again. Uh, but I want to know. I don't. I don't want to do all that again, though. Oh, if I miss something, I miss something. <laughs> all right, great. That's exactly what Amari needed. Yeah, yeah. And you know what that means? Two days left. I guess is what that means. Oh, fuck. We're back in fucking purgatory again. Yeah, wait a second. Wait, you have a new message. Hey James, it's mommy. Are you doing okay? You haven't been answering my calls or responding to my voicemails. If you keep ignoring me, I'll start to get worried again. I hope you're pacing your chores. I don't think even I could finish everything in one day. Did you end up visiting Kel? If not, it's all right, I understand. Just take things at your own pace. By the way, uh, you can check the closet downstairs and see if there's anything you want to keep. Uh, we'll probably just throw away whatever you don't want anymore. There's only two days left before I come pick you up. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Okay, just, just, just take it easy. Is this the closet that is a no-go? 
Okay, if you don't stop banging on the door, I don't care who you are. You ain't coming in. Oh my God. You have a real problem. Brush your teeth every day. Yes, of course I'm gonna brush my teeth. I'm minty fresh. Perfect. Great, let me grab the fucking steak knife so if I ever get ran up on again, I can fucking handle. Shit. <laughs> There's no steak knife. Is this the closet? No, this is like outside. Oh, shit. Hello, hello, James, are you there? <sighs> Opening the door for my boy, are you serious? Why wouldn't I open the door for my boy? Hi, James, top of the morning to you. Well, more like noon, actually. Turns out Hero's not coming back until around dinner today, so I thought I'd drop by a little later. Mom was having me buy some stuff at Faraway Plaza before he comes back, and I thought it might be funner if we went together. Did you want to come along, James? Of course you do. Come on. Let's go! Ah, it feels good to be back in fucking purgatory. Cal smells! What the heck? What happened here? Damn, it must have been Aubrey and the Scooter Gang. James, be honest. Do I smell... You don't smell, my doggy. Okay. No, you smell like a win. You smell like a dub. You smell like a man. <laughs> uh, far away park. There's that word again, the dreamers, by the way. You got trash. What's with everybody fucking polluting the shit out of this place? Hey neighbor, how's it going? Uh, hey Kel. Oh, and uh, who else is with you? Oh wait, I recognize you. It's James, isn't it? Sorry, it's been a while. I think we only met a few times. My family has always lived here, but I was sent off to boarding school for a few years and just came back about three years ago, I think. Hey James, Chris is my next door neighbor and she's really cool. She's the fastest swimmer in school. When she's in the water, people compare her to a mermaid or a shark or even a torpedo. Oh, Kel, you're never short on compliments. Aren't you trying out for the junior varsity basketball team this year? I'm sure you'll be a shoo-in. <laughs> well, I'll try. I've been playing every now and then with strangers at the park. I think I'm getting better, but it's a little hard to tell. But if I practice basketball as much as you practice swimming, I'd probably have a better chance. Uh, I'm not that hardworking. It feels like fun to me, honestly. And besides, even though I love swimming in pools, I love swimming in the ocean even more. I love everything about the ocean. The beach. Sound of the waves, even the smell of seaweed. Ah, sorry, I must sound a little obsessed. That's totally fine. It's good to be passionate about something, isn't it? I guess. Actually, I think this has all started because I went to boarding school on an island and really enjoyed my time there. The ocean reminds me of my friends I made there. I hope maybe I can see them again one day. But for the time being, I guess I'll just be collecting seashells and stuff. You know, that story kind of reminded me of this, uh, but James is actually moving away from here really soon. Maybe you can give him some tips on how to handle moving away to a new place. Oh, James is moving? Hmm. Well, being away from my friends was pretty tough at first, but change is just a fact of life. It's the memories we make with them that we should cherish. You know what? I just decided something. If you see any seashells, can you bring them to me? They're kind of hard to find around here, but I'll make sure it's worth it. Uh, what a lovely day for a picnic. I brought my specialties. Chicken pot pie, lemon pie, and of course my world famous apple pie. Okay, well, it's been kind of stressful lately, but people watching out here helps me put things into perspective. I might make it a habit to come to this park more often. I guess sometimes all it takes to relax is to stop and smell the roses. Dude, or smell the trash that everybody's leaving everywhere. What's going on here? We are recyclists, followers of the holy bin. <laughs> As all have littered, all must accept what they are. Trash, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Dude, there's so much. Too much trash. Oh man. Okay, where are we going? Let's see. I'm pretty sure we gotta stop at Gino's Pizza at the bakery in Othermart. Lead the way, James. 
as I was saying. Can you believe? And her. But then. Mm-hmm. That was like the time we... Yeah. And then. Honestly, I think that... Yeah, definitely. Alright, well, here's the pizza shop. Oh, shit. It's the scooter gang. Gang, gang. You know, pizza is the bomb. This is one disgusting, dirty, greasy looking cheese pizza. Just the way I like it. Let's dig in. So, munch, munch, munch. We're still on to go to our secret hangout spot today, right? I'm gonna bring my fishing pole. Munch. Made it myself. Munch, munch. I have a cool stick and a jump rope yesterday. You <laughs> think it'll work, Charlie? The Maverick. <laughs> so, we're going to our secret hangout spot. Munch. That's a perfect date spot. Munch. I'll be sure to bring one of my special ladies. Swimming. Munch, 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 munch. Sounds. Munch, 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 munch. Pretty fun. Well, munch. While you're all fooling around being babies, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna be busy skipping rocks. I've been looking forward... Or looking for the perfect rocks all week. Heh, <laughs> munch. You can try all you want, Kim, but you'll never beat Aubrey's record. Shut up, Mikhail. Like any girls would actually want to, munch. Go to the lake with you without you paying them. <laughs> Told you to call me the Maverick. Ah, I bit my tongue. Oh, what a loser, dude! Fwa, master, are you hurt? Uh, you put food there. You pay for this, Kim. <laughs> All right, well, let's leave them be. I'm gonna stay as far away from that. My wife keeps telling me that I'm getting chubbier and tubbier, but I can't help myself when we live so close to Gino's Pizza. Really shouldn't get anything though. Last night, my wife smelled pepperoni on my breath and got really mad. Oh my gosh, my crush is sitting right there. What do I do? What do I do? Breathe. Bib, you gotta be cool. My older daughter is coming here tonight from college. I'm sure she'll have lots of tips about what's hip and cool these days. Oh, I can't wait to catch up with her. Hello. Hello, welcome to Gino's Pizza. What can I get for you? Hi, I'm here to pick up an order. I see. What would you like? Oh, I know. Would you like pizza? No, I'm not. I think my mom phoned in an order for, for a hero sandwich this morning. I'm just here to pick it up. Oh, I see. You're the family that keeps ordering sandwiches instead of pizzas. But it's on the menu, isn't it? Mm, yeah, you're right. I guess so. Okay, I'll go get it. You know, I don't know if I ever told you this, but that's why my brother's nickname is Hero. You think it's because of some really cool reason, like he saved a puppy when he was a kid or something. But no. He just really likes sandwiches. <laughs> I can respect it. All right, here's your hero sandwich. Please enjoy. Yeah, Kel's pizza order. Cool, thanks. All right, we're good to go, James. I'm ready when you are. Now we just need to get the cookies from the bakery and other mart. Okay, we can just straight up leave, but also we can talk to, to Aubrey. She doesn't like us. Cookies! I fucking love cookies. Cookies. Let's go to the bakery. My mom placed an order there. Yeah, I'm looking for the goddamn bakery. Usually it's like near the back, right? Yeah, it's over here. Welcome to our family bakery. What would you like? Hi, I'm here to pick up an order. Ah, mm, oh yes, your mother said you'd be coming, though. I expect you to be here a lot earlier. I'll go grab your order. Hey, go get the fucking bread. Did you know this bakery belongs to Macau's family? I guess you can't really tell because he wears that horrible yellow wig all the time. Seems like he's making a pretty big effort to stand out and be different. Here's your order, sir. Hope We hope to see you again. Uh, please enjoy your baked goods. Yeah, Kel's bakery order. Okay, where are we off to now? All right, we're good to go now, James. I'm ready when you are. Where are we going? Bing bong. Baked goods, check. Sandwiches, check. Well, that's everything, and just in time, too. Looks like the sun is about to set. Let's go back to my house. Hero should be coming home any time now. Yeah. Let's go. Hero. I'm going the wrong way. I don't know what, where I'm, what I'm doing. Okay. Or was I going the wrong way? No, I was going the right way. I just want to be on the side of the road. All right, let's do it. Psych, we're gonna go save because uh, we've been at it for, actually, no, wait, no, we're not. We got like eight minutes left. 
Before we go in, I should probably mention that my mom was going to be a little mad about me taking so long with the groceries. I was supposed to bring everything back around noon, but I got carried away doing other stuff, and well, you know how it goes. But anyway, I thought of a solution for this. So, I think you should walk in first. That way she'll see you first, and she'll get all excited. And most importantly, forget to yell at me. <laughs> it's a win-win for everyone. Got it? Okay, let's go. Yeah, that's pretty smart. This is the smartest move of all time. Mom, James is here. Uh, it didn't work. What took you so long, Kel? I sent you off hours ago. How long does it take to get a bunch of sandwiches? Oh my, is that James? It must be. It's so good to see you again. But dear, you look so thin. Have you been eating properly? Here's the stuff you asked for, Mom. You have the bakery order and the pizza order to Kel's mom. All right, James, let's go upstairs to my bedroom. Uh, now wait just a second, young man. Bye, Mom. See you when dinner's done. Oof. That's pretty savage. That is not... A bunch of family photos. Kalsher has a lot of relatives. I think you can hold it a bit longer, James. I want to show you my room first. <laughs> all right. Oh my god, look at all these trophies. Well, here it is. Make yourself at home. Look, I got a basketball hoop and a boombox, just like I always wanted. <laughs> here, I'll play a song for you. You ever consider making your bed? Yep, it's pretty sweet. Mama let me play it too loud though because she says it's bad for Sally. Who's Sally, a pet? Oh wait, you haven't met Sally yet, huh? Well, guess what, James? Uh, I'm a big brother now. Sally's my baby sister. My mom will probably bring her downstairs around dinner time. She's really small and really cute. Uh, Kel, there's a girl at the door. She says she's here to see you. Ooh. I wonder who that could be. Oh, shit. Oh, it's you, Basil's caretaker. Hey, Kel. Hey, James. Sorry for intruding. I was just wondering if you know where Basil is. I thought he might be with you. Basil? Uh, no, sorry. We haven't seen him all day. Oh, it's okay. I'm, I'm sure he'll turn up eventually. He ran off earlier and he hasn't come back. You see him? Can you tell him to come home? I'm really worried about him. Of course, Polly. We'll be on the lookout. Thanks, I knew I could count on you guys. Well, Basil's missing today. I have a bad feeling about this, especially with Aubrey and the scooter getting around. Maybe we should try to find him before it gets dark. Can we go look for him, Mom? Pretty please? Well, that girl did look awfully worried. Okay, just make sure to be home by dinner. What about Hero? I wanna see Hero. Hero! <laughs> we have colorful trash cans. The black trash is for the trash. The blue trash is for the recyclables. Yeah, I know. You know how recycling works. Okay. I'll get it. What? What just happened? How did I get here? Aw, so cute. Aw. Watermelon. The gang. All right, well. <laughs> Aw. Anyways, I'm gonna end it here. I don't know how we got here, but uh, did I hit like a button? Oh, I hit that button, okay. Uh, so thank you all for watching and join me next time. Sure. Okay. Uh, where we explore more purgatory. So I'll see you all then. Have a good one.